Hello and welcome to today's edition of Top Rated Recruiter Spotlight. My name is Adam Conrad, founder and CXO of Great Recruiters. And for those that don't know what Great Recruiters is, we help recruiters and staffing agencies get reviews, referrals, recommendations. We help drive candidates to them. We help them be a beacon of light uh, so all the great candidates out there know, know who all the great recruiters are. And I am joined here today with one of our top rated recruiters, Tristan Long. Tristan, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Doing great. Thanks for asking. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, before we jump into this, uh, I just want to do a little bragging about you. Uh, Tristan has 51 reviews, 98% highly recommended, has a 4.92 star rating. And, you know, one of the things that I hear a lot that I read is like, I'm reading words like he's a pleasure to work with, great communicator, excellent recruiter, consider him a friend, uh, takes pride, always calm, cool, and collective. I love that. And uh, <laughs> I've referred people to him several times. Uh, you don't get that uh, if you're not doing something right. So kudos to you uh, for all the accolades that you're receiving from your candidates. Um, but before we get into that, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into the recruitment industry. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I, uh, you know, I've been here at Core Medical Group for about five years now. Actually, I just hit my five year mark. Um, and uh, how I got into it is actually pretty funny. I, uh, I went to school to become a nurse. Funny enough, um, I, <laughs> I wanted to be a nurse. I thought it was, uh, you know, my goal. I, you know, at the end of the day, really just wanted to help people. That's what yeah. I, you know, kind of associated with did, becoming a nurse. Did they just pull out the needle and that was it? You hit the floor and that was it. <laughs> they uh, they put me in anatomy and physiology and uh, the brute memorization. I was like, I can't do this. Put me in business classes. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, I, I still I wanted to help people one way or another, wanted to get in the medical field. And uh, when this this uh, opportunity presented itself coming out of school, I, uh, I jumped at it because it was kind of a mix of both of what I wanted to do. Yeah. And so how did the opportunity present itself? Did you find it? Did somebody recommend it? Did you just apply to a job online? They were uh, so core actually came to a job fair at my college. And um, I actually had went to high school with uh, somebody who was at the booth. Um, she was a lot older than me, but I knew her brother. She knew my sister, small world, you know, that kind of a thing. And then I got to talking to her about where the offices were, what they did. And I, uh, I had been probably through 20 different, like different, you know, companies at that point, just talking in the job fair. And it was the only one that was in the medical field. It was um, a way that I could impact, you know, patients lives, people's lives in a really positive way. And I wasn't just selling like piping, you know, or like a product, right. you know, I was actually helping and getting people, you know, more fairly compensated or getting them to an area that they wanted to go yeah. to. So I could get really motivated about that. And so it was an easy decision, easy decision for me. Yeah. And uh, haven't looked back. <laughs> That's great. And tell us a little bit about uh, Core Medical Group. Yeah. So Core Medical Group's been around for uh, 20 plus years um, based out of uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. So we, you know, started in the New England area, but now nationwide staffing all 50 states. Um, you know, we do acute care, we do home health hospice, we do long-term care, we do a lot of things in between. Um, you know, we try and service as many, you know, uh, facilities, hospitals, wh whatever the case would be, if we can help them, we want to do it. So it's, uh, it's kind of the mentality around here of, you know, if we can make it happen, we're going to do everything we can to make it happen. Right. And it's again, one of those things I can get behind. Yeah. And, and then within the healthcare staffing vertical, what, what is kind of your focus? What, would uh, what types of folks do you help out the most? Um, so I am in the acute care silo, but I um, just just based upon me, you know, getting a lot of referrals and, you know, really excelling in some other areas. I, I actually do work every, um, you know, every specialty we can. But I would say home health hospice and then all acute care, you know, med surge, tele, ER, ICU, OR, the standard ones. But we do, you know, dialysis, endo, you, you name it. We probably do it. Awesome. And as someone who's been in the staffing market, that's this thing comes around called great recruiters. You've already been experienced. You're in there. I'm just curious, as somebody who knows the industry, had been recruiting, how has great recruiters helped you in your career? Well, I, I've actually really loved it. Um, I would tell you, there's not enough positive feedback in the world for staffing, uh, you know, recruiters, but also for nurses. I, I tell people all the time, like, you're doing a great job. Pass along all the positive feedback because there's really <laughs> just not enough of that out in the world. 
you know, you, you're the families that they're treating might tell you like you were great, but sometimes they think it, they don't say it. Right. And I, I really do think great recruiters is a way for me to kind of, you know, get a pat on the back that, Hey, I am doing a good job and people do like working with me. And I already knew that because they sent referrals, but it was a lot of people that I had never heard any positive feedback from before. I got the most uh, amazing reviews and it like warmed my heart. I reached out to them. I was like, I'm so happy that you feel the same way. I've loved working with you. I feel like you're a friend, right? And uh, it, it kind of um, kind of bridged that gap, I would say. Yeah. Not that there was a huge, <clears throat> but it just, you know, spreading the positivity, which I love, right. you know? And do you feel like from that perspective, the reach out, the thank you, you're just fostering stronger relationships through that 100%. entire hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I feel like I've gotten closer even to those nurses that have left reviews, even though we were close before it, it's created even more of a bond of like, we both feel the same way of like, I love working with you. You love working with me and let's just keep this rolling. <laughs> right. Right. And, and the lifeblood of a recruiter, uh, are those relationships and those relationships turn into referrals, which turn into new relationships, which turn into referrals. Uh, yeah. And you just, agree. you just continue building that, that network of, of trusted people who love working with you. And uh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. And dependability, right. I, I would say it's like a two way street. I depend on them to show up, do their job and, you know, represent core and themselves in the best way possible. And they, depend on me to, you know, be in their corner no matter what. And like, you know, help find the right job and set them up for success. You know, it is a, it is one of those things. That's awesome. And, and what is being named top rated recruiter? What does that mean to you? So, it, I mean, it means a lot. <laughs> it means a lot to me because, uh, you know, I, I show up every day. I tell everybody I work with, I put in a hundred percent effort every single day. I wake up, I try and make the best day I can possibly make. I try and make positive change out there. And this is just, again, just a, you know, showing that everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for a reason. And it's showing the results that I'm looking for. I'm impacting people's lives positively. Yeah. And what, what do you think it means for the, for the nurses that you're working with? I, I think that a lot of them know I work really hard. <laughs> I think a lot of them have seen, you know, the effort, you know, have seen, you know, the communication that like, no matter what's going on, I'm trying to keep them in the loop on every tiny little detail. I'm thorough. Um, but I do think it just shows them that they're in good hands. And, you know, it really just, just shows that he's not just, you know, this way with me, he's with this way with everybody he works with. Right, so, right. And, and if I'm a candidate out there, I'm in the acute care silo, although you, it sounds like you have opportunities all over the place through your network. Um, what should I expect from you as a new candidate working with you? So uh, transparency, that is like my number one thing that I tell, tell everybody. I will be very blunt. I will be very honest because that is how I would want it to be done if I was on your side. And uh, I, I respect honesty. I respect transparency. And I don't like beating around the bush to people just because this is your livelihood. If you're going to be traveling across the country, you need to know exactly what's going to happen. I hate surprises. Shoot me straight. <laughs> all, all terms I love using. Um, and then on top of that is communication because I'm your yeah. point of contact for everything. And, uh, if you have an issue, concern, question, not sure what to do, you need to be able to be able to pick up the phone and know that your recruiter is going to get back to you or be there to pick up that call in a yeah. very timely manner. Cause like that is, again, if you're on an Island for 48 hours and you're like, what's going on? Is everything still okay? That's a really tough feeling to be in, especially if you're halfway across the country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know what, you're doing a great job. It's no doubt you don't get these kind of reviews and, and the, the, the amount of what people share about you and the detail about what they share. You, you can tell that they, they care about you, right? They care. They love working with you. They care about working with you. And I love the three words that you use to describe yourself, driven, <laughs> caring. And the last one, it would just made me chuckle rational. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crazy world we're living in, right? It's a crazy world. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's probably one of the best self uh, attitudes <laughs> that I've seen somebody describe themselves as that's rational. Great. And <laughs> if you're looking for a driven, caring, transparent, and rational recruiter, uh, reach out to Tristan. What what is the best way for folks to to connect with you? Um, I would say just hit uh, going through my work phone or my work email. And my work phone is uh, 603-681-9268. You can call me, text me, or you can email me at uh, tristan.long at Core Medical Group. That's awesome. And uh, you're tagged in this video, so you can Perfect. also connect with them on LinkedIn. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you are 
out there, uh, you n- candidates, you don't have to settle for just a recruiter. Uh, there, uh, there are great recruiters out there that are every day trying to do the best for them, do the best for the families that they support. Uh, and, uh, when you come across a great recruiter, you're, you're never going to need another one. So uh, kudos to you, Tristan, for being uh, named top rated recruiter and just keep up all the great work. You guys are just crushing it out there and uh, just a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much. <laughs> my my pleasure indeed. And that's it. Everybody have a great day and uh, give your recruiters and your nurses. Uh, my wife's a nurse and I love that you said that because they don't get enough uh, accolades out there. So if you're working with a nurse, uh, tell her how much they mean to you because uh, those little words uh, do go a long way. And with that, uh, everybody have a great day.